today's video we're going to talk about how to remove the back box from the bottom on the ultra vp this happens to be model 6.0 of the machine um, this is a an updated version to a video we made in the past that's going it's going to be more uh, accurate so let's uh, go ahead and um, take the key You're, you will find your keys actually in the front here hanging off the plunger we don't have the plunger on because we just applied artwork so once you have your key You'll stick it right in here on the back door and the machine is going to be folded over top of itself like you see right here it will have some foam of course over it protect the foam so remove that and then once you open up this box uh, i'll show you what you can see inside so let's do that here so this is the content of the back box from from behind you have your 32 inch monitor here and then you have your DMD monitor. Those cables have to come off. And we also have to remove the power cables uh, on, the, on the side here. So let's start with the top 32 inch monitor. This DVI cable here has to be loosened on each side here until it's totally free. I would suggest labeling this cable first with uh, you know something that says 32 inch or something along those lines. That way you know that this is the cable that goes back in here. That's it. You're going to free it, but that's not all you need to do. You have a hole here on the bottom that you need to thread it through. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is your power cable on the 32 inch monitor. So you're going to just unplug that. There we go. Next is going to be the DMD monitor. We're going to focus not on the power cable. This power cable you can leave in, but the VGA cable that's right there. So again, unthread it open it pull it out and then we're going to come back through the same hole that we were so that's it you can you can let let these cables hang off the side here just like that now the last this cable here is the um, dvi or hdmi cable that goes up to the topper monitor if you have one most people purchase the topper monitor so this needs to be loosened and the way you do this you go to the back of the machine bottom back of the machine Right here, you open up that door, and then you have to identify the cable that actually says topper. And that's the one you want to pull out from the PC graphics card. Now, you don't have to label this because it's already labeled, and there will only be one port on the graphics card that has been unplugged. So no need to label that. You're going to have to thread it through, bring it up. There you go. And through the hole that way you know that you have it laying inside of that top box all right that's that's number one so now what we have loose is the cable for the topper the kit all the cables from the 32 inch and the dmd last but not least we are going to work on let me actually bring some light in here so i can show you do you see these two power bricks that are hang that are mounted on the side of the the cabinet the top box right here so this is the first one and here's the other one they have screws that are holding back the power cables okay so let me see if i can show this really good easily yeah there's one screw right here so we're going to remove that one and then there's one also at the bottom here right at the bottom so those two screws are going to have to be undone for you to be able to take that I call it a trident cable because it's literally one power cable coming from the bottom of the machine and three connectors. So that's what we have to do next. So I'm going to videotape from far away so you can see what we're doing. There we go. That's number one. Of course, set that aside in a safe place so you can put it back together afterwards. And the second one. There we go. So those are the two screws. Once those are off, then it's as easy as just unplugging these cables from underneath the, each of these uh, adapters. That's one, there we go. And the other one at the very bottom here. That's it. So now we should have literally a cable that looks like it has three connectors. You see how we have, yeah, triple connectors. You're gonna thread that out of the box. To the, to the other hole on the opposite side, which if you stand behind the machine, that would be your left side. 
So once it's pulled out, you are nearly home free. One more thing that needs to be done, of course, is we have audio cables that are coming through here. But what's nice is we actually have disconnectors for this, right? So these colorful cables that are coming through, you can disconnect them. So that's what we're going to do. So there's one. Then we have two white ones. Yeah, I'm gonna try to show it as well as I can here. If you can't do it by hand, you can use a, a flathead screwdriver, a thin one, and assist. It's it's not rocket science. You should be able to figure this out in terms of how how it clips together. So see, here's that clip that you you have to push on right there in order to release. So there are two of those, and then that's it in terms of cable management. There. So we have all three of those. Uh, you don't have to thread it through, but if you want to protect these cables, you can. You know, just uh, that way they're not in the way. There we go. <clears throat> and close the door. That's it. Now the door is closed and you have no cables coming through. Okay, now the last thing that's holding everything together are these brackets here, right? So you can see we have three screws here and then one screw on the side. I recommend leaving this one on and only removing the three screws on each end. That way it's stronger and more durable when you put it back together. Standard Phillips screwdriver. Make sure not to strip the screws by taking a screwdriver that fits. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. And uh, putting it back together is obviously the reverse. So that's what we're going to do now. So we are not going to take it completely off. We're just going to reassemble the other side and go the reverse way right now. So as you can see, this process takes about five minutes, right? When you know what you're doing. All right, so I, I just uh, re assembled this back together. So both sides need to look like this when you're done. We open up the back box again when you're ready to put it back together. And we start by threading these cables, the audio cables back through the left hole. Just like that, nice and gentle. One thing I would actually do and I would recommend is since, oh, you can't make a mistake. As you can see, one of them has six connectors, one has four connectors. So it's not like you need to label this. Just turn them the right way. And I think that also you cannot mess up. So once it, they're plugged back in, you still need to find the black one. If it fell through, it's just a matter of going in and finding it and threading it back through the hole. Yeah, there we go. So just pull it back through and find the other end. Also, can't make a mistake. You'll see where it clips together. Yeah, you can't. If, if you try to turn it the wrong way, it won't go in. There you go. All right, so that's that. Now make sure you push this back down as much as you can. Once you bring this back up and you literally lift it backwards, you're going to need to be careful that these cables do not get uh, nicked in any way, right? You have to thread them through the hole as you bring it up. All right, now we're going to take the uh, HDMI cable for the topper monitor, if you have one, and thread it back through both holes and back into the back of the PC. Topper monitor port, there you go. Only one available on the graphics card, like I said. You can close that at the bottom, no more need for that. Now we're going to take the power cable, that trident cable that we had, and thread that back through the left hole. All three of those have to go through that same opening. So we can give power back to all the devices, all three of them. Okay, 
So the shortest cable is going to be the one that you're going to connect to the bottom adapter. So the, the power adapter that we had at the very bottom is going to get the shortest one. And that also only goes in one way. It's just a normal PC power cable. Yeah, like these. And then this, the second longest is going into, the, yeah, into that one. And the longest one goes back onto the 32-inch monitor. Make sure you push these cables in nice and firm. Otherwise, you may have erratic power issues. Good deal. Last, the last one, let me get around here and see what else we have left. We have these two DVI cables and left here. You can see those you should have labeled, like I said. One of them goes to the 32-inch. If you didn't and you forgot, then one of them says DVI, as you can see here. Uh, we believe that's the one that goes to the 32-inch where we have a DVI label. So let's give that a, a try. There we go. Again, th we threaded that through the right hole and then up. That also has to be turned a certain way. So you cannot, yeah, just if you, yeah, we, we have no other way. It's just a one-way connection. And then you turn and thread these and to tighten. There we go. So that's nice and tight. Threading the other one through. And guess where that goes? That goes on the bottom onto the DMD into the what the they call the VGA port, even though it is not a VGA cable. The labeling there isn't accurate. So don't worry about putting it into the DVI port. This is correct. Also, again, you can't miss, make any mistakes there because the cable and the port match. Good deal. So that's that. Now, the important part here, we're going to show you how to close this up and then bring, up, bring it upright. So the next thing is close the door. There you go. So that's done. So now, when you pull back this thing, the important part is make sure that none of these cables get affected so there we go backwards and you need to push them in like this on the other side also and so go about halfway then a quarter of the way push them in make sure in the middle there's are no cables dangling down that are going to be affected and once you're done this is how your box should look now one thing to do is to open it back up and secure this with a few wing nuts and washers. So this is what these, these things look like right there. That right here is going to be your best friend. There are four holes here. Let me actually get the light and show you. You see these four holes, two here and two on this side. This is where you're going to put those wing nuts through. Now you're going to do all four. For our purpose here at the shop, we only use one, just temporarily securing it while we apply artwork or work on testing the machines. But yeah, you're gonna to want to put all four of those on there. So that's it, that concludes the video on how to remove and re reset the back box from this unit. And that should give you a, a, probably a, a savings about 70, 80 pounds, hopefully, when you move the machine around. Thank you.